Luis Ortiz is shredded for the Deontay Wilder rematch. What a sports world. It's just boxing here. With only seven days to go before their highly anticipated rematch on November 23rd, the challenger Luis King Kong Ortiz is looking more shredded than ever uh, for his fight against the WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. The fight will be shown on Fox Sports pay-per-view. Ortiz has put everything into his training camp to get in the best shape possible. The former world title challenger knows what's on the line in his fight. The highly ranked Cuban Southpaw Ortiz has never looked this ripped before and training for a fight as a professional. So whatever Ortiz did to get uh, in this um, shape, he needs to continue to do this moving forward. Um, it was no co um, coincidence that Ortiz was fighting at a high level when his weight was in 230. But since 2016, Ortiz has weighed in the 240s and not looked as short or as fast compared to when he was um, at a lighter weight. But King Kong Ortiz will, uh, will be trying to achieve his lifelong dream by winning a heavyweight world title and becoming a world champion. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see if Ortiz's new physique will result um, in him fighting at a higher level. Level, excuse me. Wilder barely got through his previous fight with Ortiz with him looking um, kind of chunky. But Ortiz believed that the unbeaten Deontay Wilder, who has a record of 41 wins and zero, uh, zero losses, one draw, and has uh, 40 knockouts, is the best heavyweight of his decade, which is a huge compliment with all the excellent heavyweights that have been around. Picking Deontay Wilder as the best says uh, a whole lot. But until someone beats him, Deontay Wilder is the best heavyweight of this decade, Ortiz said. Ortiz has a record of 31 wins and one knockout. Came close to beating Deontay Wilder the last time they fought in March um, 2018, but he couldn't do it. He ran out of gas in the latter rounds. But Ortiz has bounced back from his loss to Wilder by winning his last three fights against um, credible opposition. But Luis um, didn't fight anyone super talented, but he did what he was supposed to do against the, um, the opponents that he was uh, put up against. Luis um, couldn't handle Wilder's punching power last year, and he was stopped in the 10th round. But Ortiz took most of Wilder's shots in the fight. Um, but in the 5th, um, in the ninth, and the 10th, he was hurt. Wilder got a little overcome confident in the fifth after dropping Ortiz. But two rounds later, Ortiz caught Wilder with a right hand counter that shook him to his boots after he thrown a right hand and Wilder wasn't ready for the counter and his legs turned to jelly. It's very important that Ortiz be able to handle Wilder's power long enough for him to land his big shots because he won't win if he can't take his power. In other sports news, Manny Pacquiao uh, is to fight um, in March or April. Um, Manny Pacquiao plans on returning to the ring in March or April against possibly, possibly Danny Garcia or Mikey Garcia, according to the Manila bullet, uh, Bulletin. Um, Pacquiao has a record of, of 62 wins, 7 losses with 2 draws with 39 knockouts. will be out um, on recess from his Senate job in the Philippines during that time um, frame. But Manny has a break from March 14th to May 3rd. The date they're looking at is a potential April 11th for his fight. Um, Pacquiao uh, is 40 years old. He's coming off one of the biggest wins of his career in beating the WBA Super World Welterweight Champion Keith One Time Thurman by a 12 round um, decision on July 20th on Fox Sports pay per view in Nevada, Las Vegas. In Las Vegas, Nevada, excuse me. <laughs> Pacquiao's trainer Freddie Roach likes the idea of him facing Danny Swift Garcia who has a record of 35 wins and 2 losses with 21 knockouts uh, for his next fight. Mikey Garcia has a record of 39 wins and 1 loss with 30 knockouts. He's coming off a one-sided loss to Earl Spence last March and, doing, um, and has been doing nothing. But Mikey has made it known that um, he very much wants to fight Manny Pacquiao next. But he's not helped himself by staying busy. Um, I can fight in March, April, because the Senate would be on a break during that time, said Manny Pacquiao. Um, Sean Gibbons, who works with Pacquiao, said there are no date yet for his fight, but he'll be fighting in the first um, half of um, 2020. 
Manny is uh, with Premier Boxing Champions, and they'll make it easy for him to be matched uh, against Mikey Garcia or Danny Garcia or one of their other fighters. But former WBC welterweight champion Sean Porter would obviously jump at the chance to fight Manny Pacquiao, but he's coming off of a loss to Earl Spence Jr. It's not an ideal time for Porter to be trying to get a fight against Manny Pacquiao. Um, that would be uh, some interest from um, boxing fans in Pacquiao versus Danny Garcia fight, but not a lot. Garcia lost to Porter by a 12-round decision last year in September. Danny rebounded from the loss to, um, to defeat um, Adrian Ganados, but he hasn't faced anyone good to redeem himself. Amir Khan is not a, uh, another fighter that has mentioned wants to fight Pacquiao, but his situation is similar to that of Porter. Khan lost to WBO welterweight champion Terrence Crawford by um, a six-round knockout. Was it six round? Oh my goodness! Six round knockout last April. Wow, I I forgot all about that fight. Um, it was a bad performance um, by uh, Amir Khan, who was completely outclassed by Crawford before the fight was stopped in the sixth. Um, Amir Khan's trainer Virgil Hunter pulled him out of the fight due to a low blow he suffered, but it looked uh, it looked too um, some like Hunter didn't want to um, keep him in there to watch Crawford finish him off. But Pacquiao uh, is off the hook for a fight against Spence. Um, the IBF champion Spence was injured in a car crash last, last October in Dallas, Texas, and it's unknown when he'll be able to return to the ring. Other boxing news, Eucarius Gamboa ready to beat Javante Tank Davis. Eucarius Gamboa wants to keep his winning streak going by adding uh, Javante Tank Davis who has a record of 22 wins, zero losses with 21 knockouts, to the list of fighters that he has beaten recently. Gamboa has a record of 30 wins and two losses with 18 knockouts and is a former IBF WBA super featherweight champion. Tank Davis meets, uh, meets up on December 28th on Showtime at the State Farm Arena in Atlanta. The Cuban great Gamboa has resurrected his career with four impressive victories over Roman Martinez, Jason Sosa, Miguel Beltran Jr., and uh, Alexis Reyes. It would be a lot bigger deal for Gamboa to take on... Um, to take on Davis and take his scalp on December 28th. His, um, his four wins were fine victories for um, Gamboa, but none of them can compare to the name of um, Javante Tank Davis. If Gamboa can beat Javante Tank Davis, it would make him the WBA regular lightweight champion, and it would open up possibilities of, of getting fights against the WBC um, champion, Devin Haney and Vasily Lomachenko. Um, this is a top-up a toss-up a toss fight between Javante and Gamboa. Although Davis is um, an unbeaten two-time champion at 130, he never fought the elite opposition in the division. His promoters um, and Mayweather promotion have been selecting his opposition with a fine-tooth comb since he turned professional in 2013. But Gamboa has beaten has been fighting um, the best um, since he turned pro and looking sensational at doing it. Um, I think it's an uh, important fight. Everyone has seen what um, has happened in my last two bouts. And, um, and I want to continue what happened in the fight against Rocky Martinez, says Gamboa. Um, so everyone knows how long I have been, um, been in boxing. The story I have made that I uh, think um, it gives the talk. And, uh, you know, and as I have always told you, I am well prepared. Any boxer um, has had problems with me. So Javante is being thrown to the wolves by Mayweather Promotions in the match, uh, in the match, and him up against the talent and Gamboa. And um, you know what? It's gonna be fun to see. It's gonna be fun to watch this man, you know, and see, you know, and, you know, and see how he deals with it. Um, you know, so this is the fight that would likely have never been made if this was um the 2007 version of Gamboa. But you know what? Gamboa is coming, um, you know, coming into this fight with Davis on December 28th. Um, with a monstrous advantage and experience, in, you know, in the amateur and professional rank. So we'll see what kind of fight, you know, is going to be. You know, um, in 2004, um, Olympic uh, gold medalist, Gamboa has fought these, you know. He, man, he got a nice resume. He, you know, he lost to Terrence Crawford, but, you know, Roman Martinez, Sosa, Alvarado, um, Daniel Ponce de Leon, Perez, Orlando Salido, Jonathan Victor Barrows. I mean, you know, hey, the list goes on, man. You know, he's um, you know, he's very talented. 
you know I'm um you know I'm looking very very forward to this man um this is uh it's just boxing don't forget to subscribe hit the like button uh, smash that bell icon to get notification of all my new videos that's coming out man it's just boxing and I'm out peace